the lady that's married to Owen Heffer is the lady called Leslie, Leslie Heffer. And uh, her mother's name is named after this horse. This horse is named after her mom, isn't she, Bonnie? So well done to you, Leslie, and well done to your mom and to the whole Heffer family. Isn't she, Bonnie? has certainly won and uh, having a look at her in the winner's box and uh, we're looking forward to chatting to Michael and Anthony in a moment she seems to be quite an excitable filly but she's a gorgeous gorgeous filly and we said if she couldn't win today well then we would all be scratching our heads but she's blown the field away and Abongile Jali is the winning groom he gets a thousand rand on behalf of Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle well done to you Abongile congratulations you have your hands full because she looks to be a bit of a excitable filly but you're doing a sterling job well done Let's get Rachel in. You know her well, obviously at the races and at home, and uh, she has been a, a beaten favorite in her last two starts, but today she brought her A game to the races. She's won well, but uh, seems to be an, an, an excitable girl. Yes, she is. Um, you know, I think she's been a little bit immature, especially her first time on the poly last time. She um, was quite confused and didn't really very green and um, sort of did everything wrong. But you know, today she proved us that she she is very capable and she she won a very nice race today. Yeah, she certainly did, and I'm sure if the team uh, are able to get it to settle and calm and, and be uh, you know as Anthony said, looks like she's seen a ghost in the winners box. <laughs> Yes, um, she's always been quite a quirky filly. Um, you see, we've got to keep her in a, a head collar at races because she's very finicky with her mouth. But, uh, you know, we've put a lot of work in her um, from day one, from the pens, from everywhere. And, you know, she's become like my little child. And, you know, I love her to bits. And uh, it's really great to ride another winner for Hollywood. A busy day, as always. You've got plenty of followers out there. Uh, not expecting you to go through your whole card, but one or two horses that uh, could be worth including in bets? Yes, well, this was my best ride today. But... Uh, you know, I think it should improve and probably my filly for Mr. Gadsby should have a chance today, Pixie in Love. Lovely. Excellent, Rachel. Let's hope we chat later. Thank you very much. I must say a massive thank you to um, Mr. Del Pesce and the Hollywood Syndicate um, for the, this filly and for giving me the ride on her. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. Roberts and Barrington Stable, well done and thank you very much. Spot on. Let's get Michael in. Barrington Stables and uh, situated out at Summerfeld. Just correct me if I'm wrong, because I could well be wrong. Your first winner for Hollywood? Yes, uh, I want to say a big thank you to them. To, you know, obviously Anthony, you know, he's the racing manager. Uh, to Owen and Devon, you know, it's um, it's honour to to have my first winner for them. You know, they put a lot into the game, which we all appreciate very much. But uh, this filly last time at Grable, I thought we'll get away with it because he got natural speed. Unfortunately, you know, the Polly, you know, she, she didn't enjoy that. And, uh, you know, I was very disappointed with the run. But she came home, tightened up nicely. And obviously we brought her back here where she, your form was. And today, I mean, it was just a matter of going down and come back, really. With this win under the belt, and, and, and now that she's seen the winner's box, she knows what it's all about. I saw you gave her a lovely bundle of grass to, to, to get her to enjoy herself. And it'll help with the confidence. Maybe she'll settle down now, Michael. Yes, look, uh, you know, she was very nervous when she came in, but, you know, we worked with her. You know, Rachel has done a lot of work, especially at the stores with her. But, uh, you, know, you know, it's more nerves than anything else. You know, she, you know there's no temperament or anything. It's, you know, it's just nerves. And, but that's typical karate. You know, you know, they want to get on with the job and, you know, do the job what they bred for. And, uh, you know, to be honest with you, I thought she could win first time out. And then the next time she got just touched off again. And then we had a little bit of a setback. But uh, today's win was full of merit. And that's what I expected from her. Well done. Uh, talking of um, a busy day and, and, and getting on with the job at hand, you've got a couple of runners. Can you have another winner? Uh, maybe, but you know, today, you know, all the concentration was on this one. Lovely. Thank you for your feedback, Michael, and all the best to you and the whole Barrington team. Thank you very much. Anthony Delpesh, they're, they're uh, approaching from the left today, and uh, normally they're coming from the right, but uh, in the winner's box, you can come in from any angle because it's the best place on the race course. Of course, yes. Everybody wants to be in here. And yeah, very well done to Michael. It's his first winner for the Hollywood Syndicate. And uh, I'm very proud of him. And uh, obviously, she come back to the track where she did enjoy, as, the last, as Michael said, the last run. She didn't enjoy the poly. And yeah, she was impressive today. She won very well. And to Leslie's mom that named her, uh, very well done to her too and in Australia. And uh, to the Hollywood Syndicate, very well done. And to Boal Ansad. Anthony, I can't remember every single horse that runs today. Uh, we're not robots, but uh, we always like to pick your brains and go through the runners. And we, we always know that it's very seldom that Hollywood only have one runner on the day. But the rest of your runners, let's rattle through them. Well, we got El Ravan in the, in the third race. 
We've taken the blinkers off because he was a little bit keen last time. I think he brings his best form. He's the horse they have to beat in the race. And in the race five, we have Chipolia. Um, she needed her last run. She'll come on with the race today. But it is a tough field, but she should run a place. And in race five, we have Purple and Cagnesi. I think he's a little bit high in the rating and he prefers the poly. And in race seven, we have Beyond the Boundary. I thought he was our best runner today. I think he should win. And Libutu, he's better on the, on the poly, so I don't think he's as good on the turf. Thank you for your feedback. I know it means the world to the punters who are the lifeblood of our industry. Thank you. And your pleasure. There we go. Anthony Delpesh, the racing manager for Hollywood. There it is. There's the opinion from the manager about every one of their runners. So reading between the lines, El Rey Vien and uh, the one that's trained later on beyond the boundary, I think he said, both have winning chances. That's what it's about. It's about transparency. It's about giving you the information. But whatever happens, if they happen to get beat because of racing, the way racing goes, the man's giving us his honest opinion.